Hi kids, I'm Bob McDonald, author of An Earthling's Guide to Outer Space. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you fell into a black hole? Well, here's a way that you can make a model of a black hole in your home using two bottles. Now, I like to use these big plastic bottles because it looks nice, but smaller bottles can work too. Now, the first thing that you need to do, and this is the most difficult part, is to take both of the bottle caps and drill or cut holes in them. Now, you might ask an adult for help with this because these caps are pretty tough to cut through. But cut holes in the caps that are about the size of your little finger, like that. Once you have the holes in them, take their tops, put them together so that the threads, the part that attaches to the bottle, face outwards. And the holes line up in the middle, like that. Then using some really strong tape, like black electrical tape, just tape them together until you end up with something that looks like this. Again, the threads are facing outwards and make sure that tape is on there really, really strongly and the holes line up in the center. Then take one of the bottles and put some water in it. Now you don't need to fill it up to the top, just fill it up to about there and screw the cap on and make sure that it's down nice and snugly. Then you take the other bottle and screw it on top this way. A little tricky, but work it in so that it screws down and make sure that it's nice and tight as well. Then once you have the two bottles together, holding both of them in your hands, carefully turn them upside down and swirl the top one around in a circle like this, around, around, around a few times and watch what forms in the middle. Can you see that shape? Looks like something you'd see in a bathtub or a sink or a toilet bowl or a tornado. That's called a vortex. And that's the shape that material takes before it falls into a black hole. It swirls around and around before disappearing down into the blackness. So if you were to get close to a black hole, the gravity of the hole is so strong that it would whip you around and around in a circle going faster and faster, except you would go so fast you go up to the speed of light. And can you see how the vortex is wide at the top and narrow at the bottom? So you would get squeezed tightly and that would make you heat up and get hot till you're white hot. Your body would be stretched out into a long string of spaghetti, swirled around and around, and then you end up going through the hole, which is here. Where do you end up? <laughs> well, nobody knows that because nobody's been through a black hole to find out and even if you did even if you could make it through that journey down into the black hole and went to the other side and looked up and said hey it's really neat in here come on and have a look we wouldn't hear that because everything that goes into a black hole stays in your voice wouldn't come out if you called us on a phone we wouldn't hear that if you shone a laser beam up we wouldn't hear it because everything that goes into a hole stays in so we don't know what happens when you go in, but we do know what happens beforehand. A black hole in a bottle. Try it.